One point I wanted to make that where I think Biden did not understand the Russian perspective is on the issue of color revolutions and the planned subversion that Russia has faced, especially during the Putin era, but throughout the 1990s and the pain of the 1990s that Russia experienced under American management. Since then, the National Endowment for Democracy, USAID, and the CIA have fueled uprisings, color revolutions on Russia's periphery. Uh, we recently heard the boss of the NED, the regime change arm of the U.S. government, Carl Gershman, boast on video that he operates an intelligence network, essentially, inside Russian civil society aimed at regime change. And when Biden goes out and lectures the Russian government on interfering in elections abroad and acts as if he's innocent, it betrays a lack of understanding of the Russian experience and what really drives a lot of Putin's behavior, especially towards someone like Alexei Navalny. And then, of course, you have the Beltway Press Corps, which behaved like a pack of jingoistic hyenas attempting to corner Biden into a more militaristic position than he was willing to take, to the point where Biden even pushed back and said, I'm sorry that I don't want to go to war with Russia. So Biden is facing his own institutional obstacles, the same ones that Trump faced. But I think here he has more space to negotiate than Trump, who is under this collusion investigation.